your cold outreach game sucks, it's probably because your entire system sucks. So here's what I did to fix this while making it crazy simple so that you can try it out today. I just built an AI cold email agent that can send over a thousand personalized real estate emails every single day, completely on autopilot. What you're about to see is a beginner friendly AI real estate agent email system that's letting top players reach more prospects in one day than most people do in an entire month. It works while you're sleeping, while you're on vacation, or even while you're spending time with your family. The truth here is that the difference between agents and businesses who dominate the market in spite of AI and those who get left behind will come down to who's willing to let robots do all of the work that they can't do. So let me lay out what's happening here. I'm sure you've seen agents spending hours every single day manually reaching out to cold leads, sending dozens of lame messages that nobody reads, and watching their conversion rates flatten out while some guy down the road eats up all of the good business. My goal with this AI cold email agent is to help you reach 10 times more people with less effort using personalized messages that people actually want to read. And this is all way easier to set up than you might think. But before we get into things, my name is Mike. I help business owners and people in real estate use AI to earn their time back and get more done so that they can focus on what matters most. And in this video, I'll be showing you exactly how to use this today. And if you're lazy, no shame there. I'll be giving this entire agent away for free so that you can start using it right away. So let's get right into it. All right, guys, I'm about to give you everything that you need to start using this agent today. And feel free to follow along this video or use the timestamps below to navigate to whatever point you want to see. But the first thing that I'm going to get into right now is actually showing you guys a live demo of this agent so you can see exactly how this works. That way you can get a better idea of how this might work for you. And by the way, if you guys want this exact agent, you can head down into the resources in my description and you could download this entire agent right here completely for free as my gift to you for watching this video. With that said, let's test this agent out right now and get some cold emails generated. Now, in order to activate this workflow, we actually need to update our lead list so that we can give the agent the information that it needs. So here's my demo lead list right here that we're going to be using to generate a few cold emails. Now, as you can see, I've already reached out to the first couple of leads here, and I've added two more down here on the bottom just so that we can test the solution out. Now, we'll go through and talk about how you can obtain information like this later on. But for now, let's go back into our agent and actually test this workflow out with our new lead information. As you can see, this workflow is going to be looking through our Google Sheet. It's going to be filtering for new leads. And then it's going to be sending all of those new leads that we haven't reached out yet to our cold email agent. From there, we're going to just loop over each of those new leads while updating their status after we've reached out to them. And then once we're done with the entire list of new leads, we'll move on to the secondary AI step to actually send a notification email to the company itself, which in this case is me, that the AI agent has finished its daily cold email task. And as you can see, this entire workflow is done within a matter of seconds. And while this is just a quick demo, you could probably see how you can use this to send hundreds or even thousands of emails every single day with absolutely zero effort. Now, as you can see back in our lead list, the agent was able to identify those two new leads and change their status to reached out after it went through and executed that workflow. All right, so enough talk. Let's check out the results that this agent just produced for us. And I have this agent set up to sending drafts as opposed to direct emails because this is a test. And after all, all of these are a bunch of fake emails. And I just want to make sure that all of this is up to standard before I actually activate everything to send. The first lead here is Lisa. And if we come back into my actual real estate lead base, Lisa here is looking for a two bedroom condo with gym and beach access for $750,000. And if we take a look here, this email is personalized just to fit those needs, considering all of those things that she mentioned as well as her budget here. And we have it broken up here so that it's easy to read, it's highly personalized, and it's also signed off by Ali with the Sunset Group. And you can pause the video to take a look at this and read through how I've set this up. And you can really get this agent to generate cold emails for you in any style that you want. And with that said, let's check out our second lead, which is Derek. And if we go back into his info, we'll be able to see that he's actually looking for a 2,500 square foot house with a four car garage and a great view for around 1.3 million. And as you can see here, this email has a lot of personality and it was able to write this entire email around his preferences and his budget. Now second, because the agent actually went through all of our new leads and finished today's cold email list, it actually sent me a personal email to update me just so that I can keep a personal eye on everything this agent does. Now this is a simple email and I also have it set here to categorize by the day. Today is Wednesday just so you guys know. But as you can see this workflow is very simple but it's extremely powerful. And now that we've actually taken a look at the demo, let's dive into this a little bit deeper so that you guys can understand exactly how to get this set up for yourself and, and get up and running today. And by the way, if you own a business or you're in real estate and you're serious about seeing how AI can work for you, go ahead and hit my first link down in the description. I'll send you a personalized AI action plan for any issue that you're going through right now completely for free. Or if you want to work one-on-one -on -one with me to learn exactly what AI can do for your business right now, then you can use my second link down in the description to book a private consultation with me. Let's get straight back into the video. All right, so if you guys are still sticking around, I'm actually going to take you step-by-step -step through this workflow so that you can not only understand how it works better, but also how each of these pieces fit together. All right, so the first thing powering this workflow is actually a scheduled trigger. Now, this 
is something that's going to be running at a set time every single day and you can set this to run whenever you want. I have mine set to run every single day at 10 a.m. but you could set this to be whenever you want depending on when your leads are the most active and when you want to be sending all of your emails out. And again you guys can receive this entire template down below completely for free and you'll be about 85 to 90 percent ready to start using this today. In particular we're actually going to be scheduling this every day just as I said and because we're scheduling it every day we're going to be needing new leads to be funneled into this list so that we can make sure that we always have people to send to. All right so secondly we're actually going to be tapping into a lead list and for this I'm organizing my leads inside of a Google Sheet. You can use Airtable or you can switch this out for a custom CRM if that's what you like to use. Now I just have this set up to retrieve information from my Google Sheet right here under my clients base. Now in my actual database I do have some information on the leads interests and their budget already and now you can source these leads however you want to and this automation will still work but if you don't have access to any personalized information we can also set up a secondary automation to enrich that lead data to provide some of those points about that person to personalize our emails around. And if you guys want to see a video about that sometime in the future then be sure to let me know down in the comments. And as I said you can actually source these leads from anywhere. You could set that lead list to update every single day so that you could just keep up a constant flow of outbound emails 100% of the time. Alright so the next thing we're going to be doing in this workflow is actually checking if each lead has been contacted or not. And this is just going to make sure that we're only reaching out to new people instead of reaching out to everybody on our entire list. Now, because some of these leads are actually going to be ones that we've reached out to already, I've included a filter right here to remove anybody that we've already reached out to. Now, as you can see, the status gets updated to reached out every single time we've completed an action here. When I imported these two new leads into this list, this status was not filled out yet. So that's essentially what's going to be going on right here. Our filter is going to be looking in the status column of our Google Sheet. And it's going to be checking if it's empty. If it's empty, we haven't reached out to that person yet, and therefore we can activate the workflow for that person. And this, of course, just makes everything really easy for us so we don't reach out out to the same people twice. All right, after that, we're going to be sending the entire workflow off to our AI agent. I've prompted this agent to review the info from each of those leads on the list and then generate a personalized email based off of that information according to a few instructions that I gave it. And I'm going to show you that here in a second. Finally, it's going to compose that email and then it's going to get it sent off using a tool. Now, in between our filter and our actual agent, I've installed a loop node. And what this is going to be doing is it's going to be looping over every single new lead that we have by passing each of those bundles of information through this agent one at a time. And now if you look at this little check mark over here, we actually see that our agent did process both of those leads. Now let's actually check out the prompt that I have set up for our cold email agent so that you guys can understand how this works a little better too. So I've got a couple of sections here just to make sure that the agent knows exactly how to go about setting up these cold emails. I have a little bit of role prompting here just to tell the agent who it is, which in this case is Ali, who is a helpful real estate assistant for the Sunset Group, whose main goal is to be creating personalized emails for every single new lead that we're getting. Now I've inserted a few variables into this prompt that I took directly out of my Google Sheet. Under task, I'm actually giving the agent the lead's name, I'm giving it their interests, and I'm also giving it their budget. And with that, I've given it a few instructions on how to actually formulate these emails in a way that's going to be engaging to that person and is actually going to focus on giving them value first, as opposed to writing some generic email that anybody could have written in five seconds. And in addition to that, I also have an example field down here, which is extremely important for outputting the right results. Not only do I have the actual email right here to demonstrate, but I also have a subject line. Because if you have any experience with cold email, you're going to know that the subject line and the email can both be tweaked depending on what your use case and depending on who your audience is. Is. And again, you guys could come in here and actually change this out to fit whatever format that you prefer to be sending cold emails with. And you can even give it a little bit more instructions if you have a certain approach that you like to take when you're personalizing an email. But in this case, I I'm keeping things pretty simple here. I'm trying to stay as personable as possible while weaving in some of that value that I was able to take from the Google Sheet. And this variable right here is actually the day name. You can see over here on the right hand side that the email opens up by saying Happy Wednesday. And even though this is a small thing that you could just drop in here, it's one of those things that makes the email feel a little bit more personable and a little less cold. So every little thing you can do like that is going to help a lot. Anyways, all of this will be available in the free file, so I don't need to go super in depth here, but all you guys really need to know is there are a few sections within this prompt, and I've got this all set up to compose emails according to how I've specified them to be written. Now, in order to get this agent to work, there are actually a couple of things I have set up here. The first is a Google Gemini chat model, which is the AI that's going to be powering this whole thing. Now, you can actually switch this out for OpenAI or for Anthropic or whatever model that you prefer. I just prefer to use Gemini because it's easy and it's free so it's great for doing a lot of demos. Now second up I have a create email tool which I've actually hooked up to this agent and this is what's going to be collecting all of that email information and, and actually sending that out to each lead. Now in this case
case, I actually have it set to create a draft as opposed to sending a message. And again, this is just for testing purposes because I don't want to be sending actual emails out. But if you guys were to actually set this up, you'd want to come in here and change draft to message once you're done testing it, just so that you can actually get this to work. And you might also want to come in here under description and change who you're signing off as. My persona here is Ali, but you guys can really set this to whoever you want it to be. All right, so the final step in our AI agent workflow is actually to update the status in Google Sheets to show that each person has been reached out to, and then to repeat that process until every new lead has been sent a personalized email. And again, we're gonna be using this to go into our Google Sheet and update this status column once we've actually sent those emails out to everybody. And that's basically what's going on here. I'm matching each row by its ID, and then I'll be updating the status as reached out. Now, however many leads you have, it could be three or it could be a thousand, this AI agent loop will cover all of those new leads in your list. And as soon as it's finished, it's going to be routed to this secondary AI step, which is actually going to be generating us a custom message to let us know that the agent has actually finished today's cold emails. All right, so the final step in our workflow is to actually notify the team that the task has been finished so that you guys can keep track of what's going on in the background here. And this is basically what you guys saw in the demo where the agent got back to me and was saying, hey, I just finished Wednesday's cold emails. And this is actually a big help for you if you're trying to stay on top of everything that's going on here, especially if you have other responsibilities. You just wanna make sure that your AI agent is working well in the background the whole time. What I have going on here is a basic request to an LLM by telling it how to actually compose that message. And here I've actually described how I want that message to be written, how long I want it to be, and a couple of other things in terms of output. And for context here under prompt, I've included the day of the week here so that the agent can say things like, I've just finished Wednesday's cold emails, or I've just finished Friday's cold emails. And that just helps personalize things a little bit more, which makes the user experience a little bit better for you on the back end. And I also have this set up to a Google Gemini chat node, but again, you can swap this out for Claude or for OpenAI, depending on what your preferences are. And finally, the last thing we're gonna be doing here is actually taking that response from this AI step and sending it in an email to the team. In this case, I'm just sending it to myself, but you can come in here and actually replace this email with whatever email or emails you want this update to be sent to every day. In the subject line, I've actually included a variable, so it's going to be updating you on that specific day's emails. And again, this is just for organization and for a better user experience. And for the actual message, all I've done was extract that AI response and then drop it right into the body content for this email. And from there, you should just get some emails like this coming through, letting you know every single day when your agent has finished your cold email task. All right, so with that, you guys should know exactly how this AI agent works and how to go through and set this up to fit your particular use case. Now, all you're going to have to do to actually set this up is go through and set up all of your credentials for things like Google Sheets, Gmail, and whatever LLM provider you're using, and then just tweak your AI agent prompt to fit your style of cold emails and how you like to personalize things. Now, each of these notes that you see right here are going to be in the file if you go through and download that for free. So you'll have all of this information on hand to work directly off of and get everything set up and ready to go today. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you got some value out of this. If you're really curious about what AI can do for your business on a more advanced level, or you want to build this exact system out to be a bit more involved, you can hit my second link down in the description and actually book a private one-on-one -on -one call with me so that I can tell you a little bit more about what AI can do specifically for you. Or if you have any specific issues that you're going through right now, I'd be happy to help you work through using AI to build out an approach to start solving those problems. But again, this is a fantastic little resource right here, and this agent is super easy to use once you have it set up. This will really streamline the cold email process and there are so many automations you could build off the back end of this to help you collect leads and actually do research on them in the background. So with all of that said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you were able to learn a thing or two. And if you have any questions about how this AI cold email agent actually works, then be sure to let me know down in the comments and I'll do my best to answer you guys. And if you made it all the way to the end, I appreciate you for watching. Go ahead and drop a like and a subscribe down below if you guys enjoy content like this and if you're interested in seeing more things like this in the future. And with all of that said, I hope you guys enjoyed and I will catch you all in the next one.